we have accomplished exactly the opposite of what we intended. We have accelerated the ethnic cleansing we sought to interdict. We have helped to consolidate in power the Milosevic regime, and we have helped to create instability in the neighboring countries of Montenegro, Macedonia, and Albania, not to mention the broader international implications such as our relationship with China. It's obvious that something has gone awfully, woefully wrong, and we find ourselves in an awful quandary. This Professor Emeritus passed away this spring. We cannot bomb the world into submission, but we can't withdraw into isolation either. If we can't prevent atrocities like Kosovo, we must be willing to accept body bags. So Rossi virtually told the graduates that Afterwards, there has to be now something constructive, something positive, instead of just reacting to, to uh, disasters and, and uh, build a, 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 uh, an open society which can be done with the help of the European Union, uh, where effectively these countries would become virtual members of the European Union. Uh, there would be a customs union, uh, there, would, uh, there would be an abolition of internal uh, borders, uh, and I'm sure that Yugoslavia would want to be part of such a uh, reconstructed uh, southeastern Europe. And it would have done some good, uh, but it didn't do much good. Uh, I think would.